what if I told you none of this was real? Little known fact, that's actually a line that never was said in the movie. Welcome to T3G, my name's Dalbor. Today we're going to talk about something that's been on a lot of people's minds, a lot of people's videos, and uh, in a lot of stores, selling at various price ranges from $20 upwards of seven, dollars $800. We're going to talk about virtual reality. We are, we are, now, if you've seen The Matrix, you understand the grand idea of virtual reality. The ultimate manifestation of it, as it were. That would be where you leave your physical body and your physical experience for a virtual one. Things like Tron, things like Gamer. In our mundane world, we have a few different ways of experiencing a virtual reality. Now, the big things you've heard about, I'm sure, are Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, those are the big boys. Those are the full immersion style experience. You, you get some big headphones, you get a huge rig with the HTC Vive. There's a huge cable that goes out to your system or your PC rather. Um, it, it's a really, really cumbersome experience, I feel, at least from an outside perspective. I personally haven't used it, but it, it just, it, there's a lot of pieces, a lot of components, and it's pricey. It's something that if you really want to get into it, that's the way to go. The full-on immersion experience. Uh, if you have, let's say, a PS4 at home, the PSVR, the PlayStation VR, is another option. It is around the same price range. I think it's about five to six hundred dollars. If you don't already have any of the stuff, I think it's like seven hundred with the the motion sticks and the camera. If you don't already have a camera and the motion sticks, and then if you're mobile, the big thing that's been tossed around is the Google VR, and that starts, I believe, at about a hundred dollars. So on a brand level, we've got stuff going from a hundred to seven hundred dollars. It really is going to depend on what kind of experience you're looking for. What I'm going to talk about is the bottom end of that, below that, the budget VR experience. I've got a couple different uh, examples to show off. One is actually one I kickstarted the discover viewer i don't want to call it a headset because you actually do have to hold it up so when you put your phone in where's my phone so when you put your phone in it's gonna sit in the front here this particular one is it's a little neoprene rubber kind of holder now you want to launch your stuff and everything like that before you do this and then you're going to be holding it up you've got there's a single button up here uh, primarily used for navigation things like that but this and other Google Cardboard solutions are the budget end. And that's gonna be where you use your phone, ideally something with a big screen and something with a nice screen because that's gonna give you the best situation. With glasses, it's not the greatest experience because like you can see, it doesn't really, I've got big glasses though, it doesn't really fit. So I do have to kind of go glasses less than that. That kind of means I gotta kind of line it up here because I need corrective lenses. So. I need to kind of get the depth going. Uh, it's it's a still a pretty entertaining device for just playing around with VR. The price on these is about 25 bucks. I believe I paid about that much when I kickstarted it. Um, they work, again, for 25 bucks, it's an entertaining thing, a uh, party trick. Uh, you can show the kids, have them play around with it. There's a, like a little alien space shooter game where you just kind of move around to aim and the shooting's automatic. You don't need a controller or anything like that. Uh, there's some really cool kind of in environmental experiences, like you can be inside of a really cool RV, there's some outdoor stuff. It's just a, it's a really cool, fun toy. It reminds me, honestly, with the single button, it reminds me of those old viewers where you would put the cartridge in and just click, click, click. That's kind of what this reminds me of. And again, sticking around the $20 to $25 price point, I've actually got one of these. Now this looks like a Samsung VR. A gear, the Gear VR. And I mean, really, it's got a dozen more features on top of the, the Discover. It's got a physical kind of enclosure here, much like the uh, much like the Gear does. And you can put your phone in, it's, it's an adjustable, it's an adjustable little setting here. The other feature that it's got is this actually, you can see here, this will adjust the depth of the lenses to the, to the viewer. So where the lenses are in comparison to you. Uh, so that's something where I've, you know, I'm gonna be messing around with it. This is very much helpful. And then it also will adjust the positioning of, there it is, will adjust the positioning of the lenses inside to make sure you've got a perfect uh, perfect line with that. Now this to me is a little more on the VR end. This is, this feels a little more virtual reality. It's definitely a little more immersive. It's something where you could put some Bluetooth headphones in, you get yourself a controller, you get a nice VR ready game. You can actually get in there, right? You're, you're gonna be 
If you get some nice around the ear headphones that are Bluetooth, that's gonna give you kind of the, the noise canceling outside and then you're gonna have a really nice immersive experience. And for 20 bucks, by going up to like the Gear VR, that is going to have more features, it's got some exclusive content, things like that. So really it's a matter of how, how deep do you wanna go? How immersive do you wanna get? With something like this, there are fewer options in the Play Store, there are fewer VR ready things for the basics. There are more things that are geared specifically towards the Gear VR. There are a dozen at least VR ready games for the big systems, for the PlayStation, for the Vive, for the Oculus, things like that. There are things that are ready for that on the higher level, on the PC gaming, on the console gaming level. But if you just wanna try it out with your mobile phone, you've got some options for a decent price. If you wanna to toss somebody, if somebody's been talking about VR for you know all year, cause that's kind of been the hot button topic, I feel like this is a good way to go for gifts. Something at the $20 range. And of course, check your Amazon reviews, check your videos, of course, check out T3G always to see if we've talked about it and see what's out there because you might be able to get away with a $20 gift that will make somebody's day. So the VR trend I think is going to continue. I think with these games, we've done some gameplay with Everspace and that was a really fun game. They actually went, they were ready for VR off the get go during the development they were, they were going ready for VR. So VR is not gonna go away. And it's nice to know that you have options at every price range and however immersive you wanna get, you really have some options there. So that's it for today. I just wanted to kind of touch on the subject of VR. Uh, I might be looking possibly in the future to, to put together a VR rig for a computer. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go with the PlayStation VR just cause I play a lot of stuff on PC. I have a ton of games on PC. Things like Everspace are already on my PC that are ready for VR, so I think anything that's gonna go VR, I might do PC, uh, but I'm really excited to all, like I look through the App Store every couple weeks to see if there's anything new, download some 360 videos. It's really cool, it's a fun experience, and if you're looking to maybe gift somebody or to check something out for yourself, you can start at this level with the $20 headsets and go, go up from there, again, depending on how deep you want to get into the VR world as it were. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, we have the links down below for any products and anything that we talk about in the videos. Make sure you check out our social media, also links below, and uh, come back Wednesday for One Minute Wednesday, Friday for our gaming video and gaming stream, either here or on Twitch, and we'll see you next week for another tech video.